together on the real real. I talk about the real real so often, but I know how absolutely daunting the website is. So hopefully I can like kind of run you guys through like my own shopping process. It satiates that thrifting mentality I used to have of like finding those things in the rough. And that diddle daddling. Let's get on the real real. The first step is if you're gonna shop on the real real, you have to make an account. So my first stop every time I browse anything on the real real is I always hit up my obsessions. It's kind of like a visual wardrobe mood board of everything I'm kind of into and things that I like. It also helps with impulse buying. Don't love this as much. So yeah, I go through this and I start unliking things and I recurate my obsessions, which kind of leads me to my second tip. At the end of the month, the real world usually does the big real sale. I like keeping everything up here because even though these boots aren't something I would be into, if I like them enough and they've been on the site long enough, who knows, it might've been knocked down to like 50, 60, 70%. They have such good furniture on here and not a lot of people shop the furniture, so it's not overly priced. Still like those. And then I always open things in new tabs so I could look at it later. Tableware set for $1,000, no thank you. It says estimated retail right here. Usually means that it still has its tags on. I'm gonna open this in the next window. Okay, so now I'm going through my sold. I'm still treating this like a mood board, so that's why I'm keeping a lot of this stuff in here. I got so many snacks in Japan. I'm so over everything. Okay. Now I go through and I admire my mood board and I relish in it and see if I'm satisfied. So when I shop, I do the same thing. I open up things in new tab and look at it after I look at everything. This might be really tedious to some people, but this is very therapeutic to me. Oh, those shoes. But I just keep them around just to remind myself that they exist. I'm just gonna go straight here to see if they have anything in my size. Nope. Closing up. Okay, so I've basically gone through my obsessions, re-edit what my mood board looks like, open up all the tabs of things I'm curious by. Now I'm gonna go through and start my shopping. <laughs> I love a good skirt suit. And that's another tip of mine is that I always search for sets. I'm gonna go ahead and refine to my shoe size. This really helps the decision fatigue is to just put exactly, <gasps> did they just come up again? No! Again, see, this is what happens when you're not on the real real every day. This cute. The lower it gets, the longer it's been on the website, and the more likely you'll see like the red. Now, 60% off. Oh, I like doing this too. Sort by, low to high. Different people price different things. It's not like a machine. They valued this dress at almost $300, but then the dress right next to it for 65. Okay, so that was the first scrub through of shopping. I kind of go back to the portal of my life, which is my obsessions page. So I look to see at the product description to see how the copywriters there word things. Structured blazer with peaked lapels. Okay, let's look up peaked lapels. And I'm liking what I see, and there's 55 pages of it. Let's hit it with the refining. That's kind of where I start to discover other brands too, or am reminded the existence of other brands. This makes me want to look up more animal print stuff. So this is how I get into my dark circle. I just start seeing things I like. This makes me want to look up tie-dye. I'm starting to dress like my grandma. Let's start adding things to Bag. Oh, I love you. Love you. Add to bag. $25? Yeah. $40? Yeah. Keep it going. I like you. Oh, yes. This top. It's just spoke to me. Ooh, I think my cart looks cute. I'm also afraid that since I'm putting this video up, you guys might find some of the things I favorited and buy it. Sweet. Okay, I'm gonna check out right now. Okay, I got all the packages in. I'm so excited to open it. Package number two. Package number one. One of the things I do want to warn about the real real is that because there's some things that are so heavily discounted from the real sale, you can't return it. Sometimes I'll unbox things and I'll be sorely disappointed because it's not entirely how I envisioned it. I know that going into this and either I will sell it to Wasteland or just depop it. You get what you pay for, right? So what did I buy? Got the blue marine skirt, blue marine cardigan, 
Drews Van Naughten crop casual jacket, Hermes bucket hat, Pamela Rowland dress, Alto high rise pants, Raquel Allegro coat, Burberry headband, Drews Van Naughten boots, Etro pants, Perla thingy. First we got the Hermes. I'm very happy about this. So much nicer than I had thought it would. It's very soft. It has a little H right here. This jacket looks so, so cool. So what I liked about it are the really long sleeves. It looks like it's missing a button with the green hat. Next up, my blue marine cardigan. Literally, yes. It does smell a little vintage, but I'm fine with that too. We got this skirt, which I've already tried on and I love. Good skirt for summer. Usually when I do real real haul, it always kind of like looks like a capsule closet. So I like trying it all on together. Cute. This bracelet. I've been looking for something like this, like a box chain. I had another um, silver chain and I lost it. Oh my. This is such a pretty dress. It was $60. These are like, $2,000 gowns. Okay, so these pants are the Alto pants. They are a little big though. I can see why someone would return it because it just like bunches up right here and 75 bucks. I mean, isn't that how much a pair of pants are at Zara anyway? I had like $20 left, so I just spent it on some knee highs. Very happy about these socks. We'll wear this. So happy. Let's open up these boots because that's what I'm most excited about. These are so sick. Yes. Possibly my favorite thing I've bought in the real world. <laughs> really needing this. It's cold. Aside from these, which were under, still under 300, 288. Not a bad deal. It's 140, which is great because I think Raquel Allegra usually runs around five to seven for a piece like this. They were probably supposed to sit up here, but I don't mind like the at the waist. 45 bucks. This is probably the least impressive thing I've seen in my pile. I have a couple pieces like this on. That's why I'm not too thrilled. Oh, this is still new with tags. This was originally 378. Very happy about this whole experience. I think I've gotten like really good stuff. Like, <laughs> Sorry about the abrupt ending. I was like, let's go try and close. And then I like was going to do this whole montage, but then I used that montage in the beginning of the video instead. Well, anyways, I hope you guys liked the video. And sorry, the accessory video is taking a while because I don't know if you can tell, but it's been pretty gloomy. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I did a Marie Kondo video where I cleaned out my closet. I'll link it down below. And I was gonna follow up with an accessories video and I have not yet. I also have had my mind wrapped around apartment hunting. So that's taken up a lot of my mental real estate because just like the whole process of me going through the real real, I get very obsessive when I shop for apartments because then I go into a dark hole for shopping for furniture, imagining myself in that place before I even get it. Bad habit, I need to stop. But if you guys like this video, then maybe I'll do more of it like it, especially if I start furniture shopping soon. Oh, and the Japan videos. I know you guys wanna see them. Just like the Paris vlogs that took me a while, Japan has taken me like a month to process everything that happened there. Um, maybe I'll do a catch up vlog sometime soon, but I'm not gonna ramble. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.